It's pretty crazy how just a few months ago, hardly anyone was talking about Michaela or paying attention to what she was doing. And now, she's constantly making headlines for some pretty shady things. The whole mascara situation really opened a lot of people's eyes to some of the dishonest tactics beauty influencers are making over on TikTok, and people have been heavily focusing on Michaela. As you guys know, a few days ago, we talked about the whole GoFundMe situation that Michaela was being called out for. She teamed up with Chris Appleton and Hair Raising and created a GoFundMe for the Boston Children's Hospital. If you donated a minimum of $5 and commented on both their social media pages, you were entered into a giveaway for two Chanel bags. Michaela and Chris instantly got backlash over this. People were saying that they should just donate the cost of the Chanel bag directly to the hospital and forget trying to get social media engagement. People felt like this was just a way to get some kind of tax write-off off the back of Michaela's fans. And a lot of people pointed out that this giveaway actually wasn't even allowed. GoFundMe has very strict rules on giveaways and you're actually not allowed to host any kind of giveaway or prize or anything on GoFundMe's platform. You're supposed to donate because you genuinely want to help these charities, not to boost Michaela or Chris's engagement and possibly win a Chanel bag. Well, people did donate, and the last time I checked, there were at least two donors who raised a total of $25. But I heard there was like four to six donations right before it was deleted. It's not clear if GoFundMe deleted the fundraiser for violating the terms, or if Michaela or Chris or hair raising did it themselves. The one thing people are having an issue with is the fact that Michaela isn't addressing this. Technically, she promised a giveaway. People donated, and those maybe two people who donated should be getting their Chanel bags. Tons of people on her TikTok are asking what's going on too, writing, you really cared about Boston Children's Hospital, huh? Update on the donations to the Children's Hospital. And there's someone who's claiming that they donated to enter the giveaway and they've apparently not received any kind of refund yet or update. They wrote, Hello, I donated to the Children's Hospital that was in your link tree, and now the fundraiser has been cancelled, but I didn't get a refund. I'd like to know if the money is actually being donated to the Children's Hospital, and what is going on with the two Chanel bags that were supposed to be given away on April 15th. So clearly people are really confused, and for some reason, Michaela wasn't addressing it. She's been ignoring all the comments asking for an update until now. She finally responded to one comment which said, can you give us an update on the GoFundMe? And Michaela is pretending that she has no idea at all what this person is talking about. She replied, hi there, the GoFundMe I believe you're referring to is ran by Color Wow. I am not affiliated, I just shared it. Direct your questions to them. And at first I was like, um, okay, this GoFundMe was not run by Color Wow. It clearly said the organization behind this GoFundMe was hair raising. Hair Raising is a nonprofit organization that puts on this one day event where all these salons participate and raise money for the Boston Children's Hospital. And it seems like a really amazing cause. But it turns out the founder of Color Wow actually started Hair Raising. Color Wow cleared out the confusion on that over on TikTok, writing Hi there, our founder started a charity years ago called Hair Raising for Boston Children's Hospital. Her daughter had multiple heart surgeries there. So Michaela is right. It is by Color Wow, but I don't know how she can possibly say that she wasn't affiliated with the GoFundMe. The charity must have got permission from her to use her name and say that she's giving away a Chanel bag. Remember, the GoFundMe said this. By donating a minimum of $5 and commenting on their social posts at Chris Appleton one and at Michaela J Makeup, you will also be entered into Chris and Michaela's giveaway to win a brand new Chanel bag. Two winners will be chosen at random on April 15th. I just don't understand how she's not affiliated with it. Surely you would read a GoFundMe before linking it to millions of your followers and you would know that your name is being used for a giveaway for such an expensive bag. Anyways, people did exactly what Michaela told them to. They went to Color Wow and asked for clarification on what was happening with this GoFundMe, and this is what Color Wow had to say. Michaela Naguera is not affiliated with hair raising and was not the organizer of this fundraiser. In an effort to raise money in addition to our cutathon, we started a GoFundMe inspired by a similar one done in the UK. She just kindly posted about it in her bio for us in order to raise awareness for the hospital. Unfortunately, we've been notified by GoFundMe that we are unable to conduct raffles, giveaways, sweepstakes 
stakes in the US. All six donors are being refunded immediately. But people are still confused. One person wrote, she obviously was affiliated if you're using her socials to get gifts and donations. Why is everyone gaslighting? And I have to agree, it's definitely strange. I have a really hard time believing that any charity would say two influencers are giving away a Chanel bag and to go and comment on their social media to enter if those two influencers hadn't previously agreed to that. Michaela tagged the GoFundMe in her link tree as well, so I mean, she had to have some idea what was going on, unless she didn't even bother to read the GoFundMe. I think overall, it just sucks that this GoFundMe was set up wrong. If they just didn't include that giveaway and Michaela spoke about the charity on her platform, I think she would have raised a lot of money. She could have just taken the money from that Chanel bag and donated that money herself. Of course, Michaela is claiming that she had no idea and no affiliation with it, so who really knows what's going on? Finally, we have to talk about yet another thing Michaela is being called out for. As you guys know, a lot of people have been feeling like influencers on TikTok aren't honest and take sponsorships from brands they don't like or don't use and promote them like they're the best thing ever. Well, Michaela is being called out for just that. A beauty creator on TikTok pointed out that Michaela once said that she hated the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push Up Mascara. Welcome to the fourth and final pack of full face of makeup I hate. I actually really like this mascara, but it bleeds like a your under eyes raccoon at the end of the day, which sucks. And the wand can be a little tough to work with. It used to be one of my favorites, but I've found better. Yet only a few months later, she was doing a paid sponsorship with them and used the push-up mascara. For the lashes, I'm using the Pillow Talk push-up lashes in the beautiful Dream Pop color. I love how it pairs with the eyeshadow. And then of course, we're using the Pillow Talk lip liner and lipstick. It just brings it all together. So here is the before. And this is the after. This is how I would do my makeup for the Met Gala. Beautiful, would look so good in photos. What look would you do for the Met Gala? I just don't understand why you would accept a sponsorship knowing you said you hated the product only a few months earlier. You didn't warn people in this video that you were experiencing transfer from it. So now people who go out and buy it because you're promoting it don't have the full picture. It does look like the color may be different. So at best, maybe that one doesn't transfer. But I feel like this is a pattern with Michaela and so many others on TikTok. Most of them normally post glowing reviews saying they love a product. Then months later, they'll be like, I hate this. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about everything down below, and I'll see you next time.